Uh, welcome to a brand new video and a short summary video of Harmonia's 3.0, the beta version landed on my P50 Pro and I want to show you the most prominent new features. So let's get started. So uh, welcome to this short little demonstration of Harmonia 3 zero features and what I will do here is I will demonstrate to you some of the most noticeable features. What I noticed immediately, by the way I'm doing a screen recording and a video recording in the background, what I did notice immediately is the new SIM unlock screen that has now remember pin option that allows you to automatically enter the pin each time the device restarts or the SIM is reinserted. This is pretty new. I took like a photo of this one here as you can see there. What you also eventually noticed is that we have a new top bar here. So let me go in and show you the top bar here. Something changed, a subtle change, but a noticeable one. I noticed it immediately when I wanted to read the time. You can see that we have now the percentages here on the far right instead of the time. So the time has moved to the far left now. And all the other icons, just like for example the network icons for Wi-Fi and mobile network connection, also wandered from the left to the right here. So this is a layout that is very familiar for iOS users because Apple is using the same kind of layout. What you also notice is there's a Telegram symbol there because Telegram is still um, or other apps and uh, notifications will still open up here to the left. I'm not sure why they changed it. it looks a bit more iOS-y but probably they changed it for the Mate 50 Pro but yeah I really don't know why they changed it. There's another feature as you saw right now here um, regarding multitasking. So I have the option to just simply drag those uh, applications into a small window just by going up and then to the right. As you can see here, I can then minimize this window, uh, maximize this window, but I also have some um, gestures as well by dragging them up. I can maximize them as you can see here indicated, or I can drag them towards the side to minimize them here towards the side, which is pretty nice. Or I can drag them down to go into the trash bin and then they are small again. So this is a very nice feature indeed. The next thing that I want to talk about are service cards or widgets. I'm not talking about those widgets that you can reach here. Uh, those widgets are not supporting this, but I'm talking about the service cards on the Harmony S that you can reach by swiping up diagonally here. And you go to your Discover feed and you go to My Services. And here you have various different uh, service cards or widgets that you can use. And I have some of them already put on my screen. And here you can see what they do. First of all, we have a new Celia Suggestion widget that is now bigger and offering you all the items here or applications that it thinks you are using most often and you might click next onto it. And the other thing is like we have now the option to stack several widgets on top of each other, just like I'm doing here with this clock widget. If I swipe down, I can go to the camera widget or gallery widget and my weather widget, for example. Oh, it looks like rain. Anyway, so I have the possibility to stack them just by dragging and dropping one of each other, this uh, on top of each other. The Celia Suggestions is an exception for this. Uh, we can also group those uh, widgets if we want to, just by dragging different sized widgets onto each other and they will be grouped into one little folder. Talking about folders, let's go to the main screen. We have those enlarged folders from Harmony S 2.0 and we have now another option to resize them. You can see I have an enlarged folder here and I can shrink this folder if I want to. So it looks like this. I can enlarge the folder which looks like this by default but as I only have three items and I have this wasted space what I want to do is I can just simply resize it to the uh, size that I want it to be and then I can place it wherever I want it to be. And yeah this is pretty nice as well and a new cool feature under Harmony S 3.0. Then we have our settings and under settings we have a new security and privacy center. I think they, op they, they optimize a little bit here in the security center so we find like for example some suggestions. I think that was there even earlier but they did some updates here as well I think regarding the design. 
More interesting is the privacy option here, which gives you an indication of various different applications that used various different privacy invading features. Like for example, we have uh, WeChat accessing three times my location data. I can click on this, I can see all the permissions that I gave it. I can see when it was doing this. And I have the option to go in here and say, for example, precise location. I don't want to give it my precise location. So it has only the region roughly, but not exactly the city or the district of the city, which is, I think, pretty helpful indeed. And you can do this for various different um, permissions, microphone permissions, files and folder permissions, contact permissions, and so on. And you have the po possibility to go also into your permission manager where you can set up all of those permissions or for each app, Huawei Health, for example, I can see all the permissions it has and I can see where it had access to in the last couple of days and hours and I can change the permissions accordingly. And of course, I can go down and I also have like this private images option, which will search your database for private images. Just like, for example, if you take shots of your credit card, of your ID card or passport or something like this and will list them here as well if you go on Go. I didn't find the option to blur them yet. As you can see, it's a suggestion. Uh, I can even swipe away this suggestion, which is also new. Um, I didn't find a way to blur those images yet if they are appearing here under private messages, but this is another feature that should be available uh, under your gallery widget. And then we come to one of the last features uh, on Harmony S 3.0. If you swipe up and hold, you can see there's some new icons appearing. If I swipe towards the left, I go into split screen. If I swipe towards the right, I go into the small window view, which I had before, which I showed you. And let's go to the split screen view, which allows me now to, to open up another application. Just like, for example, what, what application can I open up? Like a browser, for example, I can open up the Brave browser here. And now I have split screen already done very, very easily with one swipe, uh, one handed mode. Very, very easily I can switch and have uh, yeah this split screen mode active. And you can see that it is stays active here. Also in this overview, I can close both of them if I want to. Um, which is also possible. And I can go the same here, make this small, have a small window, open up another application that I want to use, uh, go back to here, uh, make it full screen if I want to. Everything like this is possible very, very easily and very, very cool. So these are some of the new features of HarmonOS 3.0. If you're interested in the underlying technologies, there are some news that I can show and share with you as well. So first of all, the Android runtime. Very important if you want to run newer Android applications on HarmonOS. You can check out with AIDA or any other application that is Android based. The Android version that is uh, supporting here is uh, Android version 12, Snow Cone, as you can see here, and the API level 31. When it comes to when it comes to the uh, information for Open Harmony S, if you want to develop Open Harmony S, you can go in here and we can check out the information that this application is bringing us Harmony S information, and we can then check the system here, and you can see this is Harmony S version 3.0, and we see uh, Open Harmony S version is also 3.0, and we can see the API level is 8 here. And uh, you can see some other information here as well. So this is really HarmonyOS 3.0 with Open HarmonyOS uh, free. So this is basically everything for my short little overview of the new HarmonyOS 3.0 features. Did I miss one important feature that you really think that is very, very cool on HarmonyOS 3.0? Tell me about it in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.